So today's episode is going to be a pinch different. Instead of doing a drawing or a painting and filming it with a time lapse, I'm going to be doing an instructional video on how to art a portrait proportionally. Two L's? Who cares? The first thing that you'll need to know is that there are three main types of portraits. There's your portrait or profile view, like this, and you have your full face view. It looks like this. But what I'm going to be showing you in this video is the three quarters view, which is halfway between them, like this. It should also be noted that there are a few different ways to get proportions. You could grid it out, like a, like a big cheater, or you could work from the inside out and start with the skull and base the proportions of the face based on the proportions of the skull. But this technique won't do you much good unless you have the remains of your subject on hand. So today I'm going to just show you a few easy measuring tricks for proportions. Quick disclaimer, these measurements aren't perfect for everyone. They are based on the average human, or in this case the above average human. But all in all they should get you pretty close. Step 1, getting the shape of the head. So start by busting out a perfect circle and then put two ellipses inside it. One ellipse will be for the angle that the face is looking and the second for the brow line. Get rid of the back line for both ellipses. Now you're gonna bust in a line from where the two ellipses meet straight on down and draw four straight lines evenly spaced to define the hairline, brow line, bottom of the nose, and chin. To define the jawline, you'll draw points from the chin back up to the circle. Since a chiseled jawline isn't one of the gifts God blessed me with, I'm going to round these babies out. Personally, I think the easiest way to find proportions of the face is to start with the eyes. And the easiest way to find the eyes is to start with the brow line that we had before and draw in those beautiful thick eyebrows. Then draw from the corners of them down to where the bottom of the nose meets the center of the face. And the outside corner of the eye will dance right on that line. And you can use that to kind of guess and check where your eyes might be. Since I know you're wondering, yes, I do do contract makeup. But having wings like that does not come free. For those of you that are drawing hockey goalies and ninjas, you can stop now. As for the rest of us, we need to find the nose. We already know where the nose ends vertically, but we don't know where the nose ends horizontally. Fun fact, the edge of the nose lines up perfectly with the inside corner of your eyes. How fun is that? So easy. Alright, let's move on. Finding the ears should be pretty easy just because since it's a three-quarter view, you're only dealing with one. Using our brow line ellipse from before, we're going to be able to see directly where the top of the ear lines up with the eyebrows. Now do the same thing with a parallel line starting at the bottom of the nose. And your ear will sit right in there somewhere. Right there. Perfect. So I've got my eyes and ears and nose, but I need my mouth, because without my mouth, no one could hear my opinions. So make a box using your nose divider and your chin divider, and then divide it into three equal sections. And if your math is correct, boom bam, your mouth lands right on that second line down. But Cole, don't you have another good trick for where the corners of the mouth go? Of course. Go from the center of the eye straight down. Just like that, baby, I should get paid for this. Then you can draw on your lips, and the crest of the lip will meet with that center of the face line. Mm. Look at those lips. You've got yourself a full face in the three-quarter view. In case you missed anything, let's recap. You start with a perfect circle. Draw two ellipses and a line straight down for the front of the face. Cut it into four, and then two lines to define the jaw. Round it out. 
Then you can use the brow line to draw your eyebrows and put a line from there to the nose and then you can gesture in your eyes based on the surroundings. Now your nose where your nose goes but your ear is over here. Box from the nose to the chin, mouth is on the top third line, middle of eyes to corner of mouth. Gold star baby, you're an artist. And if you've kept up, pretty soon you're going to be able to draw a perfectly proportionate portrait just like this. What? Wait, hold on, let me try again. Just like this. Okay, never mind, you know what, forget it. Drawing is stupid, just take a picture.